You know those who sit in class and we those who sit on the trees cannot be the same. When the sun comes up, we run home and they sit in their classrooms to learn. So when we need to write exams, they will pass better than us. This is Napari Sulemana, a primary five pupil of the Wantugu Tumteya Primary School. He is one of the 193 children from the school who have big dreams of becoming nurses, teachers, among other professions. But it comes with challenges each day where the weather determines whether you can fulfill your dream. The sun directly falls on us with the heat making us not able to learn. So we are forced to run home. We close at 1.30 p.m. But we go home before the time because of the weather. Whenever it rains, we are forced to go home because there is no classroom. And if we return after the rain, the place will be wet and we can't sit down. Meanwhile, our colleagues in other schools with structures are learning. School infrastructure plays a critical role in determining the quality of learning. But that cannot be said of rural communities solely depend on government schools, which sometimes come with classrooms in a peaceful state or in some cases no classroom. One to go to Mteya Primary School is one of such schools. Established in 2009 by a U.S. Peace Corps volunteer, Anna Fred, it was to teach children the basics so that they can be able to grasp and join the upper primary. It was later absorbed by the Ghana Education Service in 2013. But since the takeover, the school is yet to receive just a single infrastructure. The assemblyman for the area, Isahaku Abdul Karim, said his predecessor had written several letters to the assembly for help. That is yet to yield any result, other than that he has also written to the assembly. Uh, I uh, wrote a letter to the DC and I was not getting a response. So I later asked the PTA and the SMC chairman for us to go and meet the DC personally. So when we went and met him, the DC uh, admitted us and he directed me to rewrite another letter. The district chief executive for Tolong, Hussein Isali Fuisi Fumosi, has assured that the school will receive the attention it deserves when the assembly's budget is approved. I made sure that uh, that school was being captured in that composite budget so that when the budget is approved for us, we will be in a position to put up a better classroom accommodation for them. In any case, sometimes uh, we have other projects that might come on our way, which is not directly under our composite budget. So I have it in mind that if we have any early project outside the composite budget, I will make sure that uh, uh, we we'll go to the place and put a, a befitting classroom for them. These children are supposed to have the basics and go up to the upper primary to write the final examination with their colleagues in well-endowed schools. The question they've been posing is how will they be able to cope when they get there? For Joy News, Martina Bugri reporting.